Yeah. Let's read it together. 18, uh, verse 35 to 43. Amen. And it came to pass that as he was come high unto Jericho, a certain blind man sat by the wayside begging. And hearing the mother two pass by, he asked what it meant. And they told him that Jesus of Nazareth passes by. And he cried, saying, Jesus, the son of David. Have mercy on me. And they which went before rebuked him that he should hold his peace. Yeah. But he cried so much the more. Ah. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood and commanded him to be brought unto him. And when he, when he was come near, he asked him, saying, What wilt thou that I shall do for thee. And he said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Receive thy sight. Thy faith, heck of your seat, had saved thee. And immediately he received his sight and followed him, glorifying God. And all the people, when they saw it, gave praises unto God. My heavenly Father, oh God, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus for this word, Lord Jesus. I ask, Lord, in the name of Jesus that you would bless me, Lord Jesus. Lord, that I would speak this word, Lord, to your people right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I know I must decrease, Lord, so you can increase in me. I, Lord, I ask you for strength. I ask you for understanding. I ask you for wisdom, Lord Jesus, that somebody may see you in me. Lord Jesus. Hallelujah Jesus. You may be seated Lord in Jesus name. Oh glory to God. Hallelujah Jesus. This morning I just like to use for a subject Jesus is passing by. Hey. And a subtopic is what do you want? Jesus is passing by. What do you want? I don't know about you all, but have you ever been in a situation that you just felt helpless? Oh, hallelujah. You, you might think things going to turn out one way and they, they turn out another way. Perhaps you might think that your, your family, hallelujah, would stand by you and you look and they are not with you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Have you just been in a blind situation you're just stumbling around you don't know which way to go you don't know how you're gonna pay your bills pastor hallelujah jesus the doctor might have given you a bad report you don't know what to do hallelujah jesus in other words there's no hope it seems like there's no hope have you ever been in that situation i don't know about you but i have hallelujah it seems like there's no hope hallelujah jesus but this morning we're looking at this man that called uh, Mark called him by the mirror. Hallelujah. This man was blind. He was hopeless. He could not help himself. He had to depend on others. Oh, he couldn't work. Uh, he had to make his living by just begging. Hallelujah. Can, can you imagine uh, having a bill that you had to pay and all you had, all you could hear, you know, when you're blind, uh, your other senses become sharp. Hallelujah, Jesus. But he could hear and all he could hear was just pennies dropping into a little a bucket, a penny, a nickel, a dime, and perhaps sometime a quarter. Oh, that's all he could hear was just quarters and pennies dropping into a bucket. That's not enough. Hallelujah, Jesus. But what's a blind man to do other than to beg? You know, they tell me back in the day, that, you know, they didn't have any seen uh, dogs. Hallelujah, Jesus, because the Jews, in other words, they didn't believe in uh, animals. Hallelujah, Jesus. But no seen uh, dogs or anything leading you around. There was no such thing as uh, social security or and any of that. 
He begged for a living. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Without Jesus, do you know that we are all are blind? Without Jesus, you are blind. Oh, hallelujah. You can call it spiritual blindness. Hallelujah. But you're blind. You have no direction. You are hopeless. Hallelujah, Jesus. But one day, one day, Bartimaeus was standing by the roadside at Jericho. Hallelujah. To collect some more little pennies. Hallelujah. As he thought. Hallelujah, Jesus. And there was a great noise. The Bible said there was a great noise uh, uh, coming aboard. He said it seemed like a, a multitude. Yeah. Hallelujah, Jesus. But this blind man, he, he couldn't hear. I mean, he couldn't see, but he could hear. He heard all this noise coming aboard. And so he just happened to ask. He said, well, what is this? What does this mean? Uh, hallelujah, Jesus. And somebody said, this is Jesus of Nazareth. Can you imagine can you imagine how this man felt? Hallelujah, Jesus. Did you say Jesus? Hallelujah, Jesus. The Jesus of Nazareth. The Jesus that had turned water into wine. The Jesus that healed an official son of Capri. The Jesus that drove out the evil spirit from a man. The Jesus that healed Peter's mother. Oh, the Jesus that healed many sick and oppressed. Oh, Jesus is they clearing a man with a leprosy did you are you talking about that Jesus that Jesus that healed a man with a hand hallelujah that Jesus that calmed the storm the one that cast out demons is that the Jesus that's passing by the Jesus that raised the Jared daughter the man that healed the blind men hallelujah Jesus oh hallelujah hallelujah the man that healed a man that was blind by putting spit in his eye. That Jesus that healed a woman that had been crippled for 18 years. Is that the same Jesus that's passing through? Look, I've been waiting for this time. I've been waiting. Do you know how long I've been standing here on, on Jericho? I heard of him that he's passing by. Are you sure that's the Jesus that's coming through? Well, I'm going to get my blessing. Today is my day. Hallelujah. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. And somebody said, hey, keep it down. Keep it down. Get your little can and go on back on the roadside. Oh, you don't belong up here. Holly. And you, you know these are religious leaders. Holly, they are followers of Jesus. Get your can, man. Get on out here. He don't have time for you. He's on his way to die for the sins of the world. Hey, Jesus. Jesus, your son of David. Jesus, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, Jesus. I need you. I've been waiting. I've been waiting. I've been crying out to you. I've been waiting. As they keep on rebuking him and telling him to be quiet, he cried out louder. Jesus! My God, have mercy on me. That son of David. Hallelujah, Jesus. Have mercy on me. Oh, my God, my God. Oh, Lord. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. You know, Jesus has the authority. Yeah, he has the uh, authority. We have the authority also because we have the Holy Ghost to shut the devil up. We tell the devil to just be quiet. Leave us alone. I'm getting my blessing today. I've been waiting. I've been waiting. I've been praying. I've been crying. I'm tired of these pennies. I'm tired of not being able to pay my bills. I'm tired of being blind. I can't see my way through. I don't know what to do. I need Jesus and everything. If he's passing by, if he's passing by, I'm going to get my blessing today. Oh, look at your neighbor and say, Jesus is passing by. Jesus passing by. What is it that you want? What is it?
anything that you want. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, you got to get it today. You got it to get it today. This is the last Sunday in 2018. Hey, 2019, we can talk about it all we want to, but it's not promised to you. 2019 is not promised. In fact, the rest of the day is not promised to you. What are you going to do when Jesus pays by? He's here today. He's here today. You reach out and get it. Reach out and take it by force. Whatever you want, Jesus got it. He'll, hallelujah, Jesus. And the man cried, and he cried, and he cried louder and louder. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, stop worrying about what people going to say. Yeah. Hallelujah, Jesus. They can't help you. Oh, they can't help you. They can't help you. Hallelujah. They're going to tell you to be quiet. Hallelujah. And you know something about it? They, like as I said before, these are church leaders. They were followers of Jesus. And just the way we in the church today, sister, do you know that people here will tell you, just be quiet. Why are you going to that church? There's only one person there. And why are you sitting there? Hallelujah. Why are you doing this? And why are you doing that? They don't care about you, but you got to reach out and get your own blessing. You got to follow Jesus for yourself. What is it that you want? Oh, hallelujah. Oh, tell him hallelujah. Oh, tell him hallelujah. Whatever you have for me, Jesus, I want it. Hallelujah. Jesus, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I'm not ashamed to ask for it. Hallelujah, Jesus, because I know he holds my future. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Stop worrying about it. And the Bible said, the Bible said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus stopped. Ah, yes, Hallelujah, Jesus. He stopped. Uh -huh. And he said to the, to, to the leaders that was in front, bring him to me. Bring him to me. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. I'm so glad yeah. somebody brought me to Jesus. Yeah. I'm so glad somebody brought me to Jesus one day. I'm so glad he called for me. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. But somebody told me about Jesus one day. Somebody told me that Jesus had a plan of salvation, that you must be born again, <laughs> that you must go down in Jesus' name. You must receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. What the evidence of speaking in tongues, whether you believe it or not, that's biblical. That's the Bible. That's God's word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to be born again. Hallelujah, Jesus. Born again of the water and of the spirit. You can't do anything without him. You cannot do anything without Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. But can you imagine? Can you just imagine? Standing there. Standing there. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. The Almighty One. He's standing right before the Almighty One. The Apple and the Amica. The beginning and the end. The bread of life. The beloved Son of God standing me right in front of you asking, what is it that you want? He is our deliverer. He's our good shepherd. He's our great high priest. He is the head of the church. Oh, hallelujah. Emmanuel, God with us. He is our chief cornerstone. The king of kings standing there. He is the lamb of God. Asking you, pastor, what is it that you want? Hallelujah. He is the light of life. He is our Messiah. He's our redeemer. He's our savior. The son of man evangelist. He's standing there asking you, what do you want? Hallelujah. He's our wonder, wonderful counselor. He's our mighty God. He's our everlasting father. He's our prince of peace. He is our healer. And he's standing there, Pastor Field, asking you, oh, Renzel, Phil, what is it that you want? What is it that you want? What is it that you want, Evangelist? Oh, hallelujah. What is it? What is it? Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, Lord. And the, and the man said, Father Mir said that if I could just receive my sight, you know, he could have asked for some more pennies. You know, I need money. I need to pay my bills. Uh, that's what I need. 
This man was no fool. <laughs> no fool. The healer is standing right there before him. He said, Lord, I want to receive my sight. <laughs> My God, my God. And immediately, immediately, he received his sight. Hallelujah, Jesus. And not only that, hallelujah, the Bible said that that man, hallelujah, he began to follow Jesus. And not only that, did he follow Jesus. All those people around him that saw the miracle, they began to follow him. Hallelujah, Jesus. We got to have a testimony what Jesus did for us, how he brought us out of nowhere, and he made a way for us, how he saved our soul. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, I was once blind, but now I can see. You got to have a testimony what Jesus did for you. Hallelujah, Jesus. This is a short message, and I'm closing. <laughs> but today, church, Jesus is passing by. And when you want something from the Lord, you got to learn how to cry out. But not only crying out, that's not going to do it. You got to have some faith. Put a little faith behind it and cry out to Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. You will find out that he is the only one that can help you. He is the only one. He's the only one that's concerned about you. I have many followers during the week, but today I only have one to come with me to church. Only one. Children, they have things to do like sleep. You know, that's important there. They got to sleep. They got to sleep. But when they want something, mom, you know, and guess what? I guess I'm kind of like Jesus. Okay, what is it? What is it? But 2019, it's about all about Jesus. Nothing will stand in my way. I've got to please Jesus. I'm going to ask you all to pray, continue to pray for me. And 2019, let's make, make it about Jesus. Let's make it about Jesus. Thank you for this time, Pastor Phil. Agape Worldwide Ministries and Pastor Enzo James Fields invite you to come worship with us in Springfield, Virginia. We're located 7240 FNG Budenai Drive in Springfield, Virginia. Call 703-372-1174. Agape Worldwide Ministries. Real love, real people, real church.